hello everyone welcome to my channel indian school of physics guys this is then here and today i have come up with a very amazing problem on stability analysis of mechanical systems so here is a problem statement and uh, this problem i gave few days back uh, in telegram to all my subscribers and uh, also i have discussed this in uh, recently in one of the class and unfortunately uh, no one was able to solve this question though it's a very easy problem it is given the legs of table are each formed by two massless rod of uh, length l so these are the junctions basically you can say uh, these are the hinges all right uh, so there is one pin here and one pin here and this is one rod this is one rod this is one rod and this is one rod it is called as the table here the legs of the table connected by pinned connections so these are pinned connections or hinges you can say the pin connections are connected by a spring of length l not and a spring constant k so you can see here uh, and if the base of the table is a massless rod of length l not so this length is given as l not this length is given as l not and if the legs of uh, the table are fixed to the ground so these points are fixed on the ground here determine the possible angle theta such that the system can remain in st uh, static equilibrium when a point mass m is placed at the center of the table so when we place this mass so what happens here is this length is given as l not this is also l not and here this pin will be here so spring basically is uh, in a relaxed condition so this is the situation in the beginning now when i place this mass m not what happens uh, due to this uh, spring uh, this point will start moving away this will start moving away and these rods are drifted by some angle deflected by some angle of theta this spring gets uh, extension so you can say spring force will be acting something like this all right the spring force will be acting something like this and mg is acting here so we have to discuss the possibility of a stable or unstable equilibrium in this situation now here you can uh, see it's a very easy problem but somehow people get confused so what we are going to do is i'll be writing by taking this as a reference i'll write the potential energy of this system so you can say at general theta uh here you can say l sin theta this is the extension here l sin theta this is the extension here so total extension is 2 l sin theta and similarly its uh, height you can see from here and that will become uh, from the reference mg l cos theta plus mg l cos theta so 2 mg l cos theta let's substitute here i'll write position of uh, for this given position i'll write the overall potential energy so you can see half k into delta x that is 2 l sin theta whole square now this is my uh, spring potential energy so you can see i have written as uh, 2 k l square sin square theta similarly this height mg h is the potential energy which is mg into 2 l cos theta now i am getting potential energy as a function of theta when i do du by d theta i am going to get uh, this expression simply just differentiate this uh, like we do for uh, equilibrium and you can see here i am getting 4 kl square sin theta cos theta and minus 2 mg l sin theta when i substitute this equal to 0 sin theta i can take common so you can say one possible equation uh, one possible solution for this is uh, theta equal to 0 theta equal to 0 means these legs are uh, straight completely vertical initial situation and another condition i get as 4 kl square cos theta minus 2 mg l so i am getting uh, from here i'll you can say cos theta i'll be getting mg by 2 kl that is one angle another angle is theta equal to 0 now let's check theta equal to 0 theta equal to 0 is one of the possible solution and uh, here you can say let's check the double derivative theek hai na and uh, another equilibrium they are mentioning here Uh, another uh, equilibrium it is mentioned here is mg by 2 kl but for this to take place uh, surely you can say cos theta is less than 1 or you can say whenever mg is less than 2 kl then theta equal to cos theta is equal to mg by 2 kl will be another equilibrium situation so that depends on uh, the value of k now here this u theta one more time i'll differentiate this so i am getting this function 
now you can check for by putting theta equal to zero the one of the solution was theta equal to zero when i substitute this here i am getting d2 u by d theta square is equal to 4 kl square minus 2 mgl and the funny part is it is the same thing which i am getting here for theta equal to zero all right so once you are doing this we can say for stable equilibrium for stable equilibrium potential energy should be a minima so double derivative should be positive double derivative should be positive that means 4kl here i can say this 4kl square must be greater than 2mgl which is kl is greater than mg by 2 so equilibrium is stable otherwise unstable for theta equal to 0 and if mg is equal to uh, 2 kl then it becomes neutral equilibrium for theta equal to 0 so this entire thing i am writing for uh, this entire thing i am writing for theta equal to 0 equilibrium position 2 kl greater than mg stable 2 kl less than mg unstable and uh, 2 kl equal to mg is neutral now another part uh, here is when theta is mg by 2 kl we already know that uh, mg should be less than 2 kl or kl should be greater than mg by 2 in this situation this is another equilibrium if i check if i substitute this value in uh, this situation i am finding that this is always negative you can easily see you can always see here for this part this becomes zero right and this is negative number is coming which is uh, very obvious here so you can say if d2 u by d theta square is negative means this is unstable equilibrium so i hope you are getting the idea for uh, uh, non-zero theta always it will be unstable equilibrium and for theta equal to zero depending on the value of k all three possibilities are there so stable can exist neutral can exist and unstable can exist that's it guys uh, in this problem so i hope you have realized this is a quite easy problem so in this case uh, you will uh, see here there is uh, currently an offer going on and lot of students have joined uh, in the recent time so this uh, offer is 45 days plus subscription basically entire access to an academy platform where you can find some of the best courses of uh, physics chemistry maths and uh, definitely i can uh, tell you the physics courses uh, on an academy are at another level compared to anywhere in uh, any coaching of india you can uh, compare your uh, compare these notes and other notes also so if you want to join me uh, in physics for live classes on an academy you can uh, definitely try this it's uh, for itje neat ug and class 8 to 12 also so basically my domain will be this itje and uh, yes last date is till 30th so if you want to join me you can use my code nitin sir so that's it guys uh, i'll keep bringing such uh, awesome problems which uh, will give you completely different feel of the situation and uh, will be very very helpful in j advanced preparation so guys thank you thanks for watching this